guys when games are like this, when it's uh, I mean, y'all are rolling like you and y'all are winning, winning easy. What's the biggest thing that Coach Chris wants to see from you guys when you close games out like this? Defense, uh, playing, playing uh, great, you know, playing the offense the right way. Don't get out of control, just playing defense, trying to build off things that we practice on. So that's the main thing. Tyree, did you, uh, did you have a talk with Anthony and tell him to go ahead and get busy in the first half rather than waiting in the second half? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I always tell I always tell Rayshon and him because uh, you know they're one of the two top two guys top leading scorers. I tell them boys and hey, man we feed through y'all so when y'all get going we get going. I know Anthony like cold starts have been kind of a thing that's plagued him the first you know couple weeks of the season. Did y'all say anything different to him going into this game? I know he said yesterday or on Monday that he wanted to be more aggressive to start. Did you see anything different in him than I'm not, opposed to other games? We don't really have to say much to them. I mean we know what to do. He, he go he gonna go out there and take care of business. He's a competitor. He like he like to win. So I know you and him were uh, y'all had a little run. I think y'all scored fourteen straight for y'all. Where you had a couple threes, he had a couple threes there in the first half. You know how uh, how fun was that? I mean y'all just seem to be uh, getting hot there. Uh, we got great chemistry together. We always working in the gym together, so that's what we, we used to that. So we when we when he getting threes, I'm hitting threes. Rayshon hitting threes. We, we just having fun. Uh, it's, we enjoying. It. We just going out there to play for each other. Rayshon, when, when did y'all uh, find out you'd be without Amanzi, and then how does that kind of just affect team chemistry and, and the, your objectives? Going I can't on? speak on that. You know, I really can't speak on that. I guess even without him, though, y'all still had, I think, twice as many rebounds. You doubled up the points in the paint. Kind of how much confidence I give y'all going forward, knowing you know you might be down a guy, but you still have the ability to play well in the paint. Um, we just got to stick together. Uh, but yeah, we lost one player, but you know, we we miss him, but. We just gotta keep moving on and just keep getting better. Um, I think tonight uh, we play for each other, and you can see the difference when you play for each other. How much fun we have! When you have a bunch of offensive rebounds, get those second chance points. Kind of what does that do to kind of swing momentum in a game when it looks like the possession's over and then you wind up getting buckets? Uh, just big. You know, that's how we work on in practice. Uh, that's like one of our top things we do: get offensive rebounds or keep the possession alive, keep our teammates moving around. When we do that, it's kind of hard to guard us because everybody can get off on the rebound and pull back out. Like, you got to shake the three pointer, so that's the main thing. What was the importance of keeping your foot on the gas in the second half to start the second Because half? a team like that, uh, they, they can make big leads and they run. They're, they're a pretty good team. They always make it to the tournament. They, well, they made it to the tournament the last two or three years. So, when you got a team like that who's older and more experienced, you got to keep your, your foot on the neck because, you know, they can, they can get back in the game. What's the feeling? You, you guys got a little bit of a break here, but it, uh, I don't know whether you look at it as a break or just exams and that kind of stuff. But yep. what's, what's the thought each of you just heading into a little bit of time off? Basically, is you know, you probably get a day off, but if you in the gym 24-7, you know, we go to Arizona State next week, and they have a good team. So if you in the gym trying to get your shots going, you know, and practice, you know, we just going to keep getting after it. There's not a such thing as, as an off day uh, when, if you're a hard worker. You always in the gym. It's not a such thing as a day off. So you gotta make sure you do something. You can't just sit around. You gotta do something. I know, I know cutting and, and whatnot was part of this uh, positionless offense. How did y'all feel like y'all attacked their zone, especially tonight with with cuts and whatnot? We, we moved. Uh, you got it. All right. We moved around a lot tonight. Uh, Coach Crane, that was a game plan. Just move off the slots, cut out the corners, and that'll free everything up. Um, hit the middle. Hit Rayshon in the middle. Let Rayshon play out in the middle. Uh, we fed off Rayshon. Uh, what was the first seven minutes? Yeah. First seven minutes of the game, and it, every, it opened everything up. Anthony hit a couple threes out of the paint. Rayshon. Yeah, uh, I mean, first couple of games we get zone, you know. So we, we're getting used to it, you know. And when, you know, when I'm in the middle, it's, you know, the defense has to collapse. But when you got shooters like that, they make it easier for me, you know. So that's, that's the main thing. Rayshon, this is your sixth game out of eight scoring in double figures this year. Are you starting to get maybe a little more accustomed and more comfortable in that role of, you know, being looked to as one of the main guys to score on this team? Uh, I feed off my teammates, you know. Uh, when they hit shots, that thing make it easier for me. You know, when I hit shots, it make it easier for them. But the main thing, man, you come out and be aggressive, you know, play your game. You don't think about things. It, it makes it way easier for you. So that's just the main thing for me, coming out aggressive, you know, get going early and then open up for my teammates. And then you, Tyree, uh, you had you know, eight points against Dayton. You know, does it feel good to get back in 
with 16 points in shots. Right. Uh, I'm not perfect, so I'm, you know you don't have those type of games where you know you're not hitting shots, uh, things not going well. But what can you do to help your help your teammate be successful? Then, so that's that was that's what I was focused on, help my teammate in the most successful way. But you know, I came home, I'm in the stadium, you know, crying.